Hi, I'm Brian Jensen with the Integrated Pest Management Program, EW Madison and Cooperative Extension Service. Would like to take a couple minutes to demonstrate how to scout for corn rootworm beetles. It's important information for us to use because using that information we can get a bit of an idea on how bad our damage potentially is next year. The time of the year to do that is when the beetles are laying eggs, which in Wisconsin is usually starting maybe that second week of August on through that first week of September. You would want to have uh, scouting intervals of seven to 10 days, so maybe a total of three counts. Uh, to count the beetles in the field, walk a W-shaped pattern, and in each of 10 different areas in a field, count the total number of beetles on five non-consecutive plants. And, and it's important that you count the beetles on non-consecutive plants because as you're counting beetles on one plant, you're scaring off beetles on the, on the adjacent plants. When you approach a plant to start scouting, reach out and cover the silks with your hand. That traps all the beetles that might be feel, feeding on the, the silks. Then go ahead and count the beetles that you can find on the, the tassel, on the top of the leaf, sometimes on the bottom of the leaf. You can find beetles in the leaf axles, pull those away, also in the ear axle. When you're done counting all of the other beetles on the rest of the plant, then pull your hand away from the silk, tease the silk away, and count beetles as they come out of the silk, even exposing the very, maybe the very tip of the ear. Now, as far as the numbers go, if you have more than 0.75 beetles per plant, you will need a control option in that field next year. I also would like to have you come back and take at least one more scouting. That way you can tell if beetle numbers are going up or down. And that can be important when we're trying to determine what management tactic to use. Getting those numbers, I think, can fine tune our rootworm management decisions next year. If you have any questions, please contact your local county extension agent. Thank you.